What's up, guys? I'm Ava Bell Taylor, and today we're diving into an Italian dish. Fried, giant, and stuffed rice ball. Prepare your taste buds because this is Cooking with Flava with Ava. Ah, <sighs> nothing like fresh basil. I like to add chicken broth to my rice water as well as some salt and olive oil. It adds more flavor. So we're going to add two to four cups of rice depending on how many servings you want. Then after around 10 minutes, the rice should start getting fluffy. Perfect. I'm just gonna plop this in here. <laughs> Two eggs. Of course, we season with some salt. Pepper. Give it a quick stir. Well, not quick, but slowly. <laughs> so now that we've added the butter and the eggs, we're going to melt in some of the cheese. This is dairy-free cheese because I'm allergic, so every cheese that we're going to be using is going to be from almonds, coconut, soy, whatever. Might as well just put the whole bag in there. Started on our bolognese sauce. To start our sauce, we will saute some onions and garlic, of course. I honestly just love when the house smells of just onions and garlic. We're starting to soften up. Next, we're going to add in our ground beef. So now we're just going to let our ground beef do its thing and cook with those onions, really get the flavor started. And of course we're going to add some salt and pepper. Making this bolognese sauce brings me back to when my family and I went to Italy and we were wandering around the Spanish steps and stumbled upon this restaurant called Restaurante Alarampa. And boy, when I tell you it changed our lives, the pastas here, everything here is so good, makes you really reevaluate your life choices. Okay, back to reality. Now let's really start building our bolognese sauce. Next, some fire roasted tomatoes with Italian herbs and more diced tomatoes. Really just different flavored diced tomatoes. And don't forget your fresh tomatoes. I like the combination of fresh and canned. We're gonna add our carrots, our celery. I've actually never made a bolognese sauce with carrots and celery but every recipe I saw that was truly authentic included it, so when in Rome. I've chopped up that fresh basil we got earlier and some parsley. Add that to our sauce. 
and peas are the surprise ingredient to this. It'll really add a nice texture to break up all that rice. All right, folks, it's time to add in our celery and carrots, carrots and celery. Please keep your hands and feet inside the pot at all times. Uh, we're looking for a passenger vino, vino, red or white. But really, we're going to add in a little bit of red wine to give it a different depth of flavor. Let this sauce do its thing. Low simmer. That's how you want your bolognese. Before we assemble our rice balls, we have to make our spinach dip. I use a combination of frozen and fresh spinach. All right, y'all know the drill. Onions, garlic, saute. <laughs> Do not be alarmed by this huge thing of spinach because it will come out to this much when it's cooked down. Artichokes are really the star of this dip. They bring that spinach dip flavor, especially when you're not using real dairy. And these kitchen scissors make it super fun and quick to slice. Two full containers of this dairy-free sour cream. It's made of a toothy, but not like in a gross way. It actually tastes good. It's time to get creamy. So we're gonna have the whole thing of cream cheese. Most of the bag, but not the whole bag. I don't see my nose to cheddar. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the smoked Gouda. This dairy-free Gouda tastes exactly like Gouda. You don't believe me? I've made this for my friends and they literally can't tell it doesn't have dairy. Add in some of these juices, don't be afraid of that. It's just more flavor. Okay, we have a little Chardonnay, a little Marvin Gaye, a little Parmesan. Egg. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. It's dairy free Parmesan. Voila! As you let your spinach dip cook, it should become this thickened consistency. If not, you can add a little more spinach. And I always like to try my spinach dip with a chip. Let's see. Mm. A dip is ready for a party. Let's just do one more. Then we'll start assembling our rice bowl. Okay. Our giant fried rice balls. The first we're going to do is the more traditional rice ball. So first you want to take your rice in your hands and press down to form somewhat of a shallow bowl so your filling is nice and secure once we put it in the deep fryer. It's time to put the stuffed and stuffed rice ball. Once you have your rice secure in your hands and lay down a thick old piece of that smoked Gouda cheese, we're going to put a hefty amount of our bolognese filling. Yes. <laughs> okay, and once you're done with that, we're going to coat it with some more of that rice and kind of just form a rice ball. This time, we're making it a little smaller for our spinach filled rice balls. I went ahead and sauteed some frozen spinach, garlic, butter, and cheese to accompany our spinach dip. And it'll just help keep our rice ball nice and stuffed while it's cooking. So we just wanna cover the other side of our rice ball. Give it a good love tap or two. 
and you just want to fill any holes you see so cheese or spinach doesn't come out in the fryer. I'm gonna cascade these gluten free breadcrumbs all over this little igloo. Get the other side because this is what's gonna make them nice and golden brown and crunchy. There she goes. Place the rice ball in your fryer basket and preheat your oil to 325 degrees. Then. Look at this color! Perfect golden brown. She's looking crunchy, ladies and gentlemen. She's looking crunchy. It's a rice bowl extravaganza! I'm just gonna take that bolognese sauce that we made and just have a nice coating on the bottom of the plate. <laughs> Once you've placed your rice ball in the middle of your dish, finish it off with some beautiful bolognese sauce, parmesan, and fresh herbs. Now we can move on to our spinach rice balls. Spread a layer of our delicious spinach dip on the plate. Transfer our rice balls to each end. Bloop. Heat up some minced garlic butter and a pinch of salt for some easy, simple garlic butter. This garlic butter really takes it over the top. Ooh. Make it rain a little Parmesan. Mm, mm, mm. Finish with some fresh herbs and feel free to pop these in the oven so the cheeses can really melt on the inside. We can finally taste these rice balls. Have a spinach dip with the garlic butter. Mm. The garlic butter with the spinach dip with the rice ball with the cheese. Oh my god! The grand finale, the bolognese rice bowl. Oh, oh my goodness. Mm. That is the best bolognese sauce I've ever made in my life. Did somebody say party food? Surprise! Mini rice balls. If you have extra rice, you should definitely make some mini rice balls. Just add some herbs and spices and use that leftover bolognese sauce. Mmm! 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 <laughs> it kind of tastes like mozzarella sticks. It's great. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, give me a like, comment, subscribe. And if you try this recipe, tag me, I want to see, at Ava Bell Taylor. And next time, on Cooking with Flavor with Ava, it's brunch! Woohoo! See you next time!